Hi there. This is the fourth in the series of the word shortcut keys. And this time I'm going to present some tricks which can help you prepare long documents, policy documents, legal agreements. So for example, if you have a lot of heads of discussion in the word document, let's say all these, right? I'm just going to copy paste it there. Normally you will be having a lot of text inside them and what you struggle with is getting the page number of these topics as and when the document stretches beyond certain pages. So what happens, watch this. Let's say I am going to write a lot of text about this. So I'm just writing equal to R A N D bracket open close enter. So this is the heading and underneath this heading lies all the text. So if you want to prepare a table of content, the one which you would be seeing in almost all the books, the table of content with the page number, a very fast way and automated way is that you choose the header, go to home tab and just click on heading one. If you wish to change the properties of heading one, you can right click, go to modify and make it let's say bold and press OK. Notice it does change. Now what you have done is you have tagged the text as H1 or heading one. And you'll also notice a small sign towards the left hand side of this text. Now this will be useful in preparing the table of contents later. So let's say the, the top three points, these are sub sub heads of the main heading. So what do I do? I go to this text, I give a heading two, and probably write some text, let's say equal to lorem. Bracket open close, enter, right? This is one. And let's say fast acronym, this is another one. I'm going to choose this and putting heading two. As, as I said earlier, you can change the output, the way the displaying of heading two happens. So I right click, I go to modify, and I just change the color, let's say dark red, let's say, or maybe dark blue, okay? Notice all of this changes to dark blue. So now let's see what's gonna happen. If I stop by and go to reference at the beginning of my document and I click on table of contents, okay? It's asking me what template do you want to work on? I'm gonna click on the first one instantly. I get the main heading, the page number and the subheading, which was H1 and H2. Of course, with time, you might f see some modification. In the main text, let's say this is also H2. I'm going to make this H2. And as I go to the top of my table of content, all I have to do is click on it and click on update table, update entire table along with page numbers. Okay. And notice everything changes. It's a very fascinating feature, which not only gives you a track point of headers and the subheaders, but also gives you the revised page number. So the last part before I close this particular session is if I'm changing the text and adding some extra spaces, I go back to the table of content, update it, entire table, notice the page numbers, it does change. So use this when you're preparing long documents, uh, maybe stretching up to 20, 30 pages, legal agreements, company policy document, or any such document which you think is relevant and can take the use of table of content. Hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed our YouTube videos and I really, really appreciate that if you could subscribe to our videos, which will also encourage me to give more such videos in the times to come. And you can also watch some of our popular programs which have been liked by a lot of viewers. See you soon.